here we have some tools that you're going to require when playing with solo and a few different things just to understand. MC4 connectors, you'll hear it a lot. If you buy solar panels, they all come with MC4 connectors. So you can clip them together, make it nice and easy. Or get yourself a decent soldering iron. If you want to save some money, it's quite simple to cut off the connectors and actually solder all your wires together. It's really up to you what you want to do. Or you can spend the money and buy all the MC4 connectors and do it that way. Another great tool to have is a clamp meter and a multimeter. Now this is a clamp meter and a multimeter all together. What a clamp meter actually measures is amps. So you actually clip it around the cable, just clip it around the positive, and it's actually, or, or the negative, it'll tell you the amps that are flowing through that cable. So they're really good to have. They're really, really good to have to check, um, to see if you've got a panel or something's happened to a panel within a line. You can just clip around the cables in that line and see what the amps are. Um, this one here's also got a multimeter in it, which is really good for reading voltages. So actually, it'll do low, like 12, 24, 48, to read whatever voltage, DC or AC. Get yourself a multimeter and a clamp meter, all in one if possible. Another great tool to have doing all this DIY is these are crimpers for your battery terminals. What these allow you to do is crimp these terminals onto batteries. If you're going to do 12 volt, you're going to require a bigger crimper than that. You're going to want the next one up, which is a little bit more expensive because you're going to want bigger cables and lugs for your 12 volt system. Fuses, you've got a couple of different choices when it comes to safety. Um, fuse everything. These are quite big, they're 500 amp fuses, that's the block. The fuse jumps in there. You can use fuses or you can use breakers. Now with the breakers you can get them in AC or DC breakers. This here is a three pole breaker. So it's three different circuits all in one there. You can use the breakers or you can use fuses, whichever is the most financially for yourself. Financially viable and what's going to work in the situation. Yeah, and you can get DC and AC and breakers. You can use AC breakers in DC if you know the exact specifications. So we will cover that. And there's some big companies that have been using AC breakers in DC break in, in DC systems for 20 or 30 years. They can be used. The reason AC breakers they are cheaper DC breakers when you get into the lower volts of DC, higher amps. They can be really expensive for breakers. Another great item to buy, remember you're playing with electricity, it's dangerous, safety. This is a voltage sensor. So this here, anywhere you stick it, it's got active wires and it'll go off. So it's really important to have one of those. If you're unsure about electricity or unsure it's not connected, you can put that there and it's going to tell you whether the circuit's live or not. Good quality screwdrivers, and these are proper electrical screwdrivers. So they have a sheath over them. They're all a polyurethane and a plastic handle. It'll save you potentially from being electrocuted. Good pliers, have yourself a really good set of pliers with some good rubber handles. A soldering iron. And just basically get yourself some of these tools. They're actually really important to have even when in the future if something goes wrong, you can fix something yourself. And there's always going to be an issue somewhere along the line, so it's important to have this sort of stuff so you can fix it over time. What we're going to do as well in the bonus series of these videos, you'll actually see us, we're going to implement some shunts and some battery monitoring systems. And what this is actually going to do is actually will allow you in the bonus series to see what happens here in our system. So this will actually put our system online and you'll be able to see what energy we're using creating a daily basis. You'll be able to log into a portal and check it out, which is pretty cool. That's basically it with tools get rubber gloves with electricity and any of this sort of stuff if you're really unsure get a professional in to, to give you a hand it's not worth the extra 150 200 bucks to get a professional to come in and do those certain parts that you're not confident with you know that, that's more that's cheaper than losing your life so when it comes to safety and equipment be really careful if you want to get yourself some high voltage gloves just to be even sure and, and just always take caution when playing with electricity